Hello and welcome to Miss Rogers' Wonderful School Story Corner. Today, I am so thrilled to share one of children's literature's most prized gems. Honey, I Love and Other Love Poems by Elois Greenfield with pictures by the esteemed illustrating team, Diane and Leo Dillon. Honey, I love. I love, I love a lot of things a whole lot of things like my cousin comes to visit and you know he's from the south because every word he says just kind of slides out of his mouth. I like the way he whistles and I like the way he walks. But honey, let me tell you that I love the way he talks. I love the way my cousin talks and the day is hot and icky and the sun sticks to my skin. Mr. Davis turns the hose on and everybody jumps right in. The water stings my stomach and I feel so nice and cool. Honey, let me tell you that I love a flying pool. I love to feel a flying pool and Renee comes out to play and brings her doll without a dress. I make a dress with paper and that doll sure looks a mess. We laugh so loud and long and hard the doll falls to the ground. Honey, let me tell you that I love the laughing sound. I love to make the laughing sound and my uncle's car is crowded and there's lots of food to eat. We're going down the country where the church folks like to meet. I'm looking out the window at the cows and trees outside. Honey, let me tell you that I love to take a ride. I love to take a family ride and... My mama's on the sofa, sewing buttons on my coat. I go and sit beside her. I'm through playing with my boat. I hold her arm and kiss it because it feels so soft and warm. Honey, let me tell you that I love my mama's arm. I love to kiss my mama's arm and it's not so late at night, but still I'm lying in my bed. I guess I need my rest. At least that's what my mama said. She told me not to cry because she don't want to hear a peep. Honey, let me tell you I don't love to go to sleep. I do not love to go to sleep. But I love, I love a lot of things, a whole lot of things. And honey, I love you too. Keepsake. Before Mrs. Williams died, she told Mr. Williams when he gets home to get a nickel out of her navy blue pocketbook and give it to her sweet little gingerbread girl. That's me. I ain't never going to spend it. I look pretty. 
Mama's shiny purple coat, giant sized shoulder bag to tote, tall, tall shoes and pantyhose, big straw hat with shiny bows. I look pretty. I float. I smile. I pose. Way down in the music. I get way down in the music, down inside the music. I let it wake me, take me, spin me around and make me, uh-huh, get down. Inside the sound of the Jackson 5, into the tune of earth, wind and fire, down in the bass where the beat comes from down in the bass where the beat comes from, down in the horn and down in the drum. I get down, I get down, I get way down, down inside the music. I let it wake me, take me, spin me around and shake me. I get down, I get down, down. Fun. The pedal on our school piano squeaks. And one day, Miss Allen stopped playing and we stopped singing. And Mr. Cobb came in with the skinny silver can and gave it a long greasy drink. And the next day we got ready to sing. Miss Allen smiled and blinked her eyes and plinked the piano and pushed the pedal and the pedal said squeak and we laughed but <laughs> Miss Allen didn't. Rope rhyme. Get ready, ready now, get set, ready now, jump right in. Bounce and kick and giggle and spin. Listen to the rope when it hits the ground. Listen to that cloppity slappity sound. Jump right in when it tells you to come back down whatever you do. Count to a hundred, count by 10, start to count all over again. That's what jumping is all about. Get set, ready now, jump right out. Things went to the corner, walked to the store, Bought me some candy. Ain't got it no more. Ain't got it no more. Went to the beach, played on the shore, built me a sand house. Ain't got it no more. Ain't got it no more. Went to the kitchen lay down on the floor, made me a poem. Still got it. Still got it. I see. Riding on the train. I see. Fences and fields, barns and bridges, stations and stores, trees, other trains, horses and hills, water tanks, towers, streams, old cars, old men, roofs, raindrops crawling backwards on the window, I hear ruggity ruggity, squeakity squeakity, 
Brumdoody, Brumdoody. Oh no! Wilmington. I feel my leg jiggling, my bottom bouncing, my shoulders shaking, my head rolling. I'm getting sleepy. <sighs> Aunt Roberta, what do people think about when they sit and dream? All wrapped up in quiet and old sweaters and don't even hear me till I slam the door? Reggie. It's summertime and Reggie doesn't live here anymore. He lives across the street, spends his time with the round ball, jump, turn, shoot through the hoop, spends his time with arguments and sweaty friends and not with us he's moved away comes here just to eat and sleep and sometimes pat my head then goes back home to run and dribble and jump and stretch and stretch and shoot and shoot thinks he's kareem and not my brother Lessie. When my friend Lessie runs, she runs so fast, I can hardly see her feet touching the ground. She runs faster than a leaf flies. She pushes her knees up and down, up and down. She closes her hands and swings her arms. She opens her mouth and tastes the wind. Her coat flies out behind her. When Lessie runs, she runs so fast that sometimes she falls down. But she gets right up and brushes her knees and runs again as fast as she can. Past red houses and parked cars and bicycles and sleeping dogs and cartwheeling girls and wrestling boys and Mr. Taylor's record store all the way to the corner to meet her mama. Moochie. Moochie likes to keep on playing that same old silly game. Pika, boo, Pika, boo. I get tired of it, but it makes her laugh. And every time she laughs, she gets the hiccups. <laughs> and every time she gets the hiccups, I laugh. Harriet Tubman. Harriet Tubman didn't take no stuff wasn't scared of nothing neither, didn't come in this world to be no slave and wasn't going to stay one either. Farewell, she sang to her friends one night. She was mighty sad to leave them, but she ran away that dark hot night, ran looking for her freedom. She ran to the woods and she ran through the woods with the slave catchers right behind her. And she kept on going till she got to the north where those mean men couldn't find her. 19 times she went back south to get 300 others. She ran for her freedom 19 times, 
to save black sisters and brothers. Harriet Tubman didn't take no stuff, wasn't scared of nothing neither, didn't come in this world to be no slave and didn't stay one either. And didn't stay one either. By myself. When I'm by myself and I close my eyes, I'm a twin. I'm a dimple in a chin. I'm a room full of toys. I'm a squeaky noise. I'm a gospel song. <laughs> I'm a gong. I'm a leaf turning red. I'm a loaf of brown bread. I a whatever I want to be and anything I care to be. And when I open my eyes, what I care to be is me. Love don't mean. Love don't mean all that kissing, like on television. Love means daddy saying, keep your mama company till I get back. And me doing it. I love, I love a lot of things, a whole lot of things. And honey, I love me too. Honey, I love and other love poems by Elois Greenfield, pictures by Diane and Leo Dillon. Wow, this is Miss Greenfield's first collection of poems and to quote here, her poems clearly reflects her deepest aim in all of her children's books, to give them words to love, to grow on. And that's why Miss Rogers Wonderful School is coming to you every week to give you words to fall in love with and words to grow on. Thank you so much for joining me today at Miss Rogers Wonderful School Story Corner. Have a wonderful afternoon and an even more wonderful tomorrow. Bye-bye now.